Unresolved problem segment tonight, tax money for public broadcasting. As you may know, the House has voted to deny any more tax money to the Corporation for Public Broadcasting Outfit, and that includes PBS and NPR. The Senate will now take up the matter. For years, PBS and NPR have been accused of having a left-wing bias, and NPR has come under fire for a pro-Palestinian point of view. Enter James O'Keefe, the man who exposed corruption inside ACORN, which resulted in that operation being de defunded by Congress. O'Keefe was also convicted of a misdemeanor in Louisiana for trying to tap into Senator Manry Landrieu's office. He paid a fine and was sentenced to community service. In January of this year, O'Keefe set up a website for an organization called the Muslim Education Action Center, a totally fictitious operation. On that website was posted a mission to spread Sharia law worldwide. Then in February, O'Keefe set up a lunch in Washington with two NPR employees, fundraisers, Ron Schiller and Betsy Lilly, who thought they were meeting two Muslims who wanted to donate $5 million to NPR. The two men, undercover associates of O'Keefe, showed up and secretly recorded the meeting. We begin with the Palestinian issue and a play on the initials NPR. There's kind of a joke that we used to call it the uh, National Palestinian Radio. I'm in a good way, so. Um, well, and that's, that is the connection. I'm not too upset about uh, maybe a little bit less Jewish influence of uh, Jewish money in NPR, but um, science coverage is quite substantial elsewhere. So. But. Um, I don't actually find it in NPR. The, what, what exactly? The, the Zionist or, or uh, pro-Israel, even among funders. Nobody really? No. Pro-Israel? I mean, it's there in those who own newspapers, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but no one owns NPR. So I actually, I don't find it. Another part of the conversation dealt with party politics, as Mr. Schiller expounds on the GOP. Now I, I'll talk personally as opposed to wearing my NPR hat. It feels to me as though there's a real anti-intellectual move on the part of a significant part of the Republican Party. It's not all Republicans. The current Republican Party, the particular Tea Party, is fanatically involved in people's personal lives and very fundamental mm -hmm. Christian. Basically, they are... They are, they believe in sort of white, middle America, gun-toting, I mean, it's pretty scary. Schiller did most of the talking in that sting, explaining to the two faux Muslim men that Juan Williams got what he deserved when NPR fired him. The question that we asked internally was, can Juan Williams, when he makes a statement like he made, can he report to the Muslim population, for example, and be believed? And the answer is no. He lost all credibility, and that breaks your basic ethics um, as a journalist. And NPR is one of the few news organizations left that stands by that kind of code of ethics. Now, NPR announced today that Ron Schiller would be leaving the company and issued a statement saying they are appalled, appalled by Schiller's comments, which are, quote, contrary to what NPR stands for, unquote. But does anyone believe that? The truth is that NPR is a liberal organization and always has been. At times they do good reporting, but the culture is left wing. That's why the feds can no longer fund it. NPR rightly points out that it did not accept a bogus $5 million check from the phony Muslims at the lunch. But like the acorn sting, Mr. O'Keefe has succeeded in embarrassing an organization that takes public money. We once again urge Congress to stop the madness. NPR and PBS should compete in the marketplace. Plenty more ahead as the factor moves along this evening. John Stoss on whether Charlie Sheen has any rights in the workplace. Sheen now saying he'll sue CBS and Warner Brothers for firing him. And is it legal?